Welcome back to Hip Hop Thursday, the only space where we nurture talent. So make sure if you got some, you bring some at our social media platform. That is Y254 channel across all of our social media platform. My name is Michelle Ashira. So guys, welcome back. All right. So you and I know that the gospel scene has had lots of controversy. But this next guest of ours, uh, he's a good lyricist and a gospel rapper. So I, with no further ado, I would like you guys to introduce you to none other than Rodo. Yeah. You're in the mission of preaching all the way. <laughs> in the gospel. Yeah. You Preach beat. Exactly. So yeah. introduce yourself. Yo, my name is uh, Rodo, mm -hmm. uh, also known as Big Boy Rodo. I'm a hip-hop artist um, who sings gospel and conscious music. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, when you came in, uh, your presence, and then there was uh, one of my friends around here, I was like, hey, who's that guy, big guy? And then uh, uh, sadly, See about to open corner wrestling matches, so that was the first notion was the shot, the design. Rajiz, so no kubali na nami what we saw when open that is the kind of shots. I don't know, it's similar to what we have seen on on our wrestling matches. Well, the drip too. My friend, I'll advise. Okay, so who put up this look? He's a friend of mine called Ingo. He's actually, he's more than a friend. He's actually my director. He's my my manager. So he just gave me this look and told me to just come with it. All right. Yeah. So why big boy Rodo? Let's start it from there. Uh, you said it yourself. Uh, big, definitely. Big boy just came up while I was, uh, while I was in uh, campus. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, I was in uh, Kenyatta University. But Rodo is actually my name because my English name is Rodney. So it's just derived from there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I've listened to your music and most of your the what cuts across all of your in your almost every Sunday is, uh, your music tends to teach. It's more of a teaching to life. Does your life actually emulate that? Do you live? Do you uh, drink wine and preach water, or that, do you actually emulate whatever you actually uh, talk about in your music? Actually, wine is good for your health. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, so and the stomach, by yeah, the way. So is water, because uh, you remember the Son of God turned water into yes. wine. So it's actually good. So, um, <coughs> yes, of course, I emulate. Mm -hmm. Of course, you see, I can't, I can't uh, sing something or put down something or write something that's not within me. When I, when I go down in pen and paper, uh, I reflect back at my life, you see, and uh, my teachings that I got from my parents, you know and uh, everyday life and just put it down. So um, I'm living it. I, I won't say I'm, I'm, I'm there yet. I'm, I'm there already, but uh, it's a journey. We live and we learn, we make mistakes, but then we move forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. And speaking about parents, you yeah. come from a uh, background which uh, it's very much conking Christianity. And um, does that, has that influenced you making a decision at an earlier stage of your life that you're going to venture into gospel uh, hip hop scene? Indeed, um, <coughs> I have very strong parents. Mm -hmm. While well, I had to fika by six, mm -hmm. <laughs> though that was back then, I'm now grown up. Uh, if fika six later, six p.m. if boko So uh, the strong, uh, my both of my parents uh, actually um, take uh, actual uh, evangelists. They take part in church, they preach as well. Uh, so I'm taking that route. First of all, the reason why I'm I'm doing this is because it's. Um, there's nothing else I can do. I, I can't. I can't go the other direction. I've, I've but we have had <laughs> situations whereby uh, the parents uh, in yeah. the ministry and then the kids, uh, they introduced to it, but along the way they are curious about the world and they just uh, uh, divert. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, there are stories, but yes. also there are stories of us now when you're about to cook a line. But all in all, we we all ask for the grace. Do you fall? You know, Th those of us who are, those people who are more, uh, who have spiritual parents, mm -hmm. the devil tries to tackle them uh, the most. No, no. Wale, wale, they're not so straight. Ah, mm -hmm. too. But for us, sindo tomtejo ziukuja like on a daily, on a get. So, um, I won't say, uh, I would say that all in all, so did not struggle. We struggle to walk by the grace uh, and we, we hope for the best. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. So you started music back in 2010. Yeah. Um, we then snap your fingers. Yeah. But Pali High School, we were yeah. jamming into it all the way. Indeed. So uh, how was the reception being from way back 2010? And then you took a break of four years. So how was the reception being so far? 
Now there was this vibe uh, kitambo there's a crank vibe for kina uh, kina clip to kina bass nini nini so there was a uh, mikono ju was just a, a kapuka hype also okay. because kapuka was back then the kina gopa DJs so the reception was amazing i mean i, I would I, I used to perform in um, you know uh, cultural events church nini nini hizo hizo and then uh, i came with uh, snap vidole uh -huh. now there's a time i performed uh, snap vidole uh, in uh, the crowd of almost, I think almost three to four thousand, every, and everybody was up, and so it it it, it standing yeah, ovation <laughs> exactly. So it it really did something to me. Uh, yeah. But all along since then, I've been writing and writing and writing and writing, and then I took a break um, to focus on academics, kidogo, something I'm not uh, uh, very proud of. But uh, then after that, hustle kidogo, and then I revamped. All right. Yeah. Uh, you're into this scene of um, you have actually made a conscious decision uh, to be in the gospel music scene, and then we have a section of youth who have actually lost hope into going to church and uh, probably having a relationship with Christ. Then, because there's too much of com commercial commercialized ministry and also the kind of uh, music that you can get to hear from some artists again. So, how does Rodo, as an artist, uh, ensure the reach out to such young people? <laughs> I would say to your ministry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, you see, also gospel musicians are, mm -hmm. are human beings. Exactly. That's more cool. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not saying that the commercial. Like, at the end of the day, uh, the, the, we have different reasons for doing music. Some of us do to inspire. Some of us do to make uh, cash. But at the end of the day, we are all in the music, both in the music industry and business. Um, what I'm trying, what I'm trying to put up uh, mm -hmm. for the for people to you know uh, listen, mm -hmm. is something that would both inspire, would uh, bring food on uh, their plate and my plate. And uh, well, at the end of the day, so long as message me we are good to go. We are good to go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so. so is it a conscious decision, Pierre Weber? Is it like uh, you ensure that in terms of creating your own sound of music, yeah. that you have a message for young people? Yeah. It's always conscious decision. It's it's yeah definitely. I'm, I mean I, I can't even uh, when I when I take a pen and paper and start to write I can't write any other thing I've tried. Mm -hmm. But at a hype nini nini. I'm not okay hype kidogo yes because you see you always you people some sometimes what want to dance what want to but life is hard enough you know mm. so at least you put in some hype inside. But then again when I deliver kit to mutu ask hey but there is some nini pal you know get yeah I think that's. Okay, so there's this uh, there's a problem that uh, it's still going of South Africa and TDJ is around and uh, speaking about uh, depression and uh, young people uh, having the the passion to get into business, but there's a bit of conflict because you can't start off something when you're not in the right state of mind in terms of depression, anxiety, and uh, you know in search of purpose, true, true. lack of clarity in this world as a young person. What would be your word for that particular young person who is watching back at home and uh, is in a very stagnant space right now? Yeah. Life is funny. Uh, you see, everybody has their path. Everybody has uh, uh, the, the life to live. But you see, uh, what 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 is you also wrote Because you also released the music. Uh, you can now send back when you actually you spoke about. You're looking for a job, job back then. Ah, yeah. 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 Yukonami. Now, yeah, Yukonami. Uh, there's a time, um, actually, uh, after, after, after Kampo, you see, mm -hmm. not everybody gets something after school. Exactly. So there's a time that you, you got a toil. And for a man, you don't go back home. You, do, you, ne you don't go back home at all, at all. So there's a time that, uh, uh, that time when I was doing that, I was hustling and all that. So the Yukonami vibe came through. And just remember, ah. I'm struggling and all that, but God, you can I'm gonna get. So I might as well just write a song about it. Yeah. And then uh, the day you can I'm exactly yeah, so well. back home make sure you don't lose hope keep pushing on and uh, surround yourself with people mm. who are giving you positive vibes and uh, be consistent in whatever you're doing so let's speak about music yes bounce which was released on august 30th ah really yeah mm. so bounce i yes. uh, really love the song it's a uh, it's um what is the message behind uh, that particular jam yeah it's it's an intro into mm -hmm. the scene uh the main message let's for example uh mm. If you look at all my music, okay. it's been it's been teaching and uh, you know inspiring and all that. But bounce, I, I wanted to enter this scene with some some sort of hype, so that people 
you know you can dance and listen to the world exactly yeah so it's it's a uh, it's more of a hype but also teaching infused inside and then the hip hop in it i mean the lyrics in it I, I love, love the it. fact that, uh, if I'm wrong, you can correct me, that your yeah. target market is the young people. And the fact that they can easily listen to your music and have a good time, even while you're actually uh, passing across a message of hope, a message of not giving up, and uh, a little bit of aggressiveness on believing in yourselves and whatever you're doing. So, so far, do we have new projects coming up? Yes, that? so many, so many projects. I mean, um, uh, uh, next week, I'm mm -hmm. releasing another one called Mteja. Uh, yeah, I'm Teja. Okay, so make sure it's, you just drop it. Definitely, here. <laughs> I, I'll be here uh, to just officially launch it. We have okay. a couple of projects lined up for this year, mm -hmm. and then also next year we have a couple of couple of projects. I mean, oh, we wow. just started, so to God be the glory and hope for the best, you know. Okay. We, on that note, make sure you give out people back at home your social media handles so that they can actually keep up to date on your projects. Definitely. Yes. So uh, my social media handles exactly. now um, big boy rodo um, Instagram big underscore boy underscore rodo Facebook uh, big boy rodo the same Twitter big boy rodo I mean uh, everywhere big boy rodo but uh, yeah Do that's you, me. are we looking forward to an album any event coming up because now we are sure of, uh, of a new release mm -hmm. uh, next week Do you, anything new anything now, that we should look out for. We're just dropping this Mteja, mm -hmm. and then we do a couple of media tours, of course. Uh, so manager Alisa Maivyo. Alisa Maivyo. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, okay. we, 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 we're starting up with some concerts on, mm. I think, from, uh, I think, October, November, actually, November, October, November, and December, because that's when, uh, now we're now we doing a crossover, Lafu. So we, we, we have projects coming up. Uh, I think I might talk about them next time I'm here. Okay, so yeah. he'll talk about uh, new projects coming up, more of them. Uh, make sure you look out for his new jam coming up next week. Make sure you quickly follow him across his social media platform. That is Big Boy Rodo. I am so sure of that. DJ Regis, yep. you have a question for uh, uh, Big Boy Rodo. I'm so sure. I'm so sure. I'm so sure. I'm so sure. And then they just... Uh, like when you're DJing on the class, Nini, you uh, will be. No? Uh, so we're starting kubali. off, Nini. Uh, what you have a question? Uh, huh. Maybe two of them And hook up na the designer. Uh. Prepare the drip. Oh, uh, uh, to you getting the muscles <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. um, I'll definitely hook you up uh, after this. Forget <laughs> about it. Shout out to Quack at least mm. if you can shout him. Shout out to shout, shout out to Bingo. <laughs> he, he does a lot of things. He's, he's designer and all that. Also Clara is also my designer mm -hmm. and also marketing manager. Oh. Yeah. So wow. And then again, before I forget, uh, we have a massive tune coming up uh, with Julian. Ah. And, also and he actually is one of your team. mentors when you're coming up. So much. Yeah. Uh, actually, when I was still young, mm -hmm. Zote, Zote. So ah, it's nice. his, uh, something, he's somebody I looked up to. And then I met Sean Mokutana. Eh? We did some gigs together. We did a lot of stuff. So uh, big things. Like, after next year, we have some releases. They're already done, so it's just a long time. Releasing them. We're looking forward to that, and it's always an amazing thing that you actually uh, get to work with your mentor, someone you'll be looking up to, and now you're working. To get to work one-on-one, -on -one. DJ Rogers, are we ready on the bounce? Yeah. So make sure you follow us across our social media platform, Y254, at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me. Make sure you don't uh, touch that dial. You listen to uh, Good Vibes of Rajis, the DJ Bounce coming up by the big boy Rodo. And uh, Barry Moore will be coming up with another interview. And good music all the way till 10.30. That is our time frame. Rajiz. <laughs>